Hey guys, how are you going? Um, we've heard back from the core drilling guys that they can come in a couple of days, uh, early in the morning, so that'll be good. I'll just need to cut out the, the drain when, it, when, they, when they come so we can just start, you know, we can still use it in the meantime. But this morning, all, all I'm doing now is just to um, put the new hot water system in, in the location. Now, because we're putting a new window up here and this is getting replaced, all this here will be um, plastered and painted, right? So what I want to do is just get rid of, we, you know, I've got this whole mess of pipes everywhere. So we'll get rid of all that, me you know, that messy pipe sort of stuff work and we'll chase it into the wall, okay? And then I'm getting a manifold system. I found this new one at Reese. Um, and so I'm gonna stick that in the, sort of in the cavity there and we'll try, yes, yeah, sort that out. But I think there'll be a few days before they, they get that in. So anyway, I'll just chase that out and start sticking the gas and everything ready. So all, all I'll have is just the, the, you know, the copper pipe sticking out the wall and then that'll be all, all sweet for later on. We'll, we'll put it back on, so. I'll just remove that heater, get that out of the way so it doesn't get cop any dust, and um, and then start chasing it out. I'll show you how, how I go. G'day guys, all right, um, done for the day. Bit of a long one, bit of digging and stuff, but anyway, I'll show you what the what the deal is here. We've I've chased out the wall, um, and so I've got the gas main, which is coming up from there, so I've teed all that in, so tested the gas, there's no leaks or anything, so I've just brought the gas main up in the correct location so the hot water system can sit here. This is the cold main. I've got a T coming off here for an outside tap um, that we can chuck in in the future. Because this, remember, this is all all getting all getting plastered and stuff. I've also done another um, cold main, a, a large cold main that's up on this chase down here. That goes up. I managed to get it up up the cavity, and I've just pulled some sheets off and just poked up the cavity. And then I've hooked. This is the aircon valve that used to be down, you know, down here on the wall. So I've put that up there so that that can be turned so I can turn the aircon for my swampy up on the roof that you can just sort of, no, you can't really see it, but just sort of see it. So then um, later on, you know, when this wall's plastered, it's not gonna be in the way or anything. And then this line here is the existing hot main that go that used to go down and all the way around and then through there to the basin and then up over to the shower on the other side, which was, I used to wonder why it used to take ages for my um, hot water system to come through. So when the new hot water system's here, it's gonna be, um, uh, heaps better which will be good so um yeah got all got all that sorted um guys are coming maybe tomorrow to uh, no sorry on thursday to, to drill the the core drill through so i'll have to cut all this out and then put it all back in again but anyway um got all the paving back as well so i mean it really helped by lifting it all up and putting it back there so you see that's it's, it's it's come up all right um i usually like to leave it like it, it does rise up a little bit here i like to keep it a little bit high because it does sink over time and you know you don't want to compact it too much when you've got the pipes under there so whenever we put pavers back we just leave it a little bit higher and then that just settles after a year or so and then goes back to the level and then you can always lower it uh, you know like scrape a little bit out later on which is easy to do um yeah so that's it for today so i'll go up there and put the sheets back on and um have a break have a nice coffee all right guys uh thanks for watching and uh i'll catch you later